Hey crazy friends. Hey guys. It's Jay and Francis with Find Your Crazy. We are a family of nine who live full time in an RV with six of our kids, two dogs and a turtle as we travel the nation to see every national park. And today we're going to bring you another family tour guide, this time for Badlands National Park. We had a wonderful visit there and we want to share in the video today some must-sees as well as some family pro tips that'll help your family have a wonderful time when you visit as well. Stay tuned. So this is all about our trip to Badlands National Park, uh, and we had a great time there, uh, as we do at all the national parks. Um, but I will say that Badlands National Park is unique yes. to anything else that we've Other seen. Otherworldly. Like, it is unlike anything that you have ever seen or experienced. Yeah. We and kept saying it's like, this must be what it's like to be on the moon. Yes, um, for sure. It's just there were definitely so hikes. almost alien um, to anything else. I mean, you, know, you just think... When you think of national parks, you, you think about, you know, these just great, like, grasslands and mountains and waterfalls. Tall, and, towering and, trees. Yeah, and this is none Nothing of that. Like I mean, that. this is just completely barren, um, and yet its beauty is, um, I mean, it's just, it's astounding. I mean, every time we, you come around another corner, me and friends are just colors, like, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. It um, is, and, and e even within the Badlands, it is very different and unique to mm -hmm. each turn that you make and every, each portion that you go to, each part of it is unique in its coloring and um, its type of um, just, just size, wildlife and all are, of that. Some parts of it, you're down in the buttes, kind of down mm -hmm. in the bottom where you're looking up, and then some parts you're up at the top where you're over looking great vast oh, valleys of them you're um, gonna love it's it crazy uh, and so you want to make sure you see all of it and yes. so that brings us to our first must see which is the loop drive uh, you need to drive the entire loop uh, of the park uh, the park is basically uh, I say a loop, but it's really almost a triangle um, between its three entrances. Uh, and so we stayed down at the bottom uh, in interior, at a KOA there interior. Be some beautiful sunsets we enjoyed Wonderful there. Wonderful place to stay. Um, and so there's basically two roads, one that goes up to Interstate 90, back across, and then back down. Uh, and you want to drive the entire mm -hmm. thing so that you make sure you don't miss any of it uh, and plan to get out a lot. Um, there's so many overlooks, um, so many places that's not even just overlooks. There's places yeah. you can get out and walk out into the sandstone butte. So as you drive around, there are, like I said, tons of just pull-offs along the side of the roads, as well as a little short boardwalks out to overlooks. Mm -hmm. um, they are everywhere, uh, and you're going to want to stop at a lot of them. Uh, and here's something that really helped us. So here's our first family pro tip, um, and this is one that we share a lot, uh, and it's Gypsy Guide Tours. Yes. Uh, it's one that we've shared in a lot Must of our videos. Have. We really enjoy it. Um, it is a GPS-enabled app uh, where you download it to your phone, and you turn it on and then as you drive uh the narrator comes on and he shares different we things call him about gypsy jim we, we don't know his gypsy name jim. but um, and gypsy he shares jim. different stories and different things that are coming up uh and in a lot of places we've loved him because of the history that he mm -hmm. shared i would say here at badlands the thing that really stood out the most is the fact that he kind of helped share what each upcoming overlook was place to take a closer look, look at, at the different layers of sedimentary rock that make up the badlands wow. the parking lot will be on our left the colors can be very impressive on a bright sunny day. Uh, and so I would say just for that alone, yes. the history stuff was great. Lots of Indian stories mm -hmm. and history, stuff about homesteading, some great information there. But really where it's shown in this one was being able to figure out which ones were the ones we really wanted to pull off right. on and which ones we didn't. Um, because while honestly, if it had been me and Francis, we probably could have stopped at every single one of them but that got a little old for the kids. <laughs> uh, and so having that app uh, to be able to see that was great. Uh, and also realize that as you drive through the park, while 
the iconic part of Badlands is the sandstone buttes. That's mm -hmm. what you see in all the pictures. Realize that it's actually kind of two different parts of the park. And so the sandstone buttes are one big area of it, but then that comes up onto a ridge into a mixed grass grassland. Yes. So there's high grass grasslands and low grass grasslands. And there's a couple of places where they take you out. You can walk out uh, onto a boardwalk and that's all you can see for as far as you can mm -hmm. see. And so then because of that, you also get some of those great animal viewing opportunities. Yes, lots of the wildlife. Bison are there huge prairie dog towns uh, and then the thing that was the most exciting for our yes. family was the bighorn sheep um, we had they had eluded us sheep. up until now and some people saw them at mm -hmm. jewel cave they kept telling us oh, oh we, we saw, saw the wind cave we saw the jewel cave you're gonna see them we couldn't see any we of didn't. them but we, we saw some at the badlands in the grasslands we saw several different groupings of them um and one, one underneath the sign like a yeah, road like, sign yeah just outside of the park <laughs> entrance so i guess not even in the park <laughs> yeah uh, but there was a huge group of them uh and so that was was surprising to us because again what you think about is all these sandstone buttes but then when you come up onto that ridge it's very diverse huge huge grasslands and those um, sandstone sandstone will change colors mm -hmm. so they'll go from beautiful whites to dark and and some Bright some that are pinks and um and corals and so that was really beautiful mm -hmm. too so as you're taking this drive it's not going to be the same old same no. old you're really going to get to experience all of what the park has to offer and it is very diverse in its wildlife but also in its makeup and it's it's just a place for pictures unlike you'll ever take or see anywhere else So as you can tell, Loop Drive is pretty stellar, uh, pretty stunning. Um, but the truth is, it's not actually a loop. <laughs> I've been calling it that. Uh, the truth is, it's two roads that connect to the interstate. And so I-90 runs across the north side of the park. Um, there are two entrances um, to the park just off of I-90, and then they come down, and then there's another entrance down at Interior. And that's where the visitor center is at, um, if you're looking for that. And so really, to make it a loop, you have to get on I-90 uh, and drive uh, about 20, 30 miles um, to be able to connect uh, those two exits. But it's worth it because yeah. there's actually some really fun stuff to see on I-90 uh, as you complete your loop. Uh, and the first one is our next uh, must-see, and that is Missile Men. Sorry, yes. Minute Men. I say it wrong every time. <laughs> Minute, Minute Men, Men Missile. missile. Uh, this was really, really neat. Um, and this was one that kind of had uh, some draw for both uh, us as adults and our kids. Um, so... What this is, is back during the Cold War, uh, right here in this area was one of the places that they had uh, a cluster of the intercontinental ballistic missiles. And they stored them in unmanned silos that were about uh, 10 to 15 in a group. And then that group was re controlled remotely by an underground launch facility that was somewhere else um, several miles away. And so what they've done is they've preserved a couple of these as part of this national historic site. Uh, and so the museum, the visitor center slash museum, uh, is right there at exit 131. So as oh, soon as you come out yes. of the park, you just go across and go in. 
And it was super neat uh, for us yes. as adults to walk through there um, because, you know, we were alive right at the end of the Cold War, kind of just coming to an end. Um, and so really most adults that are alive right now really had some part of that, uh, whether in the middle of it um, or right at the end of it, kind of where mm -hmm. Francis are from the Berlin Wall fell. And so to go back and to be able to see that and kind of talk to our kids about that mm -hmm. was really, really neat. Yes, absolutely. And the boys loved it. You um, also need to realize if you are a part of of the Junior Ranger program. Mm -hmm. This is a national monument. And so you can yep. get your little you badge, can get your badge on there. It. it does. Our boys love that. And you can also just get the book there. Mm -hmm. You can travel through the little museum and kind of see hands on. And then we walked out and you got to see the area down into so the ground. What you got to realize though about um, the Minutemen um, site is there's actually multiple sites. Yeah, uh, we didn't know that. So <laughs> you actually are going to pull off three different exits down I-90 as you're driving from east to west. And so the first one, like I said, is the visitor official visitor mm -hmm. center, which is right there um, at exit 131. And then as you drive, there's two other places you're, yeah. you're well, two other places you can visit. Um, and so Delta One is the underground launch facility. Um, and so you can go, um, you can just drive up to that and see the buildings that are up on top. But if you want to go down in it and actually see the launch facility, you do have to make an appointment. Yeah. Um, so we didn't do that. We didn't take the time to do that. Um, but but if you uh, realize that now, thanks to our tip, yeah. um, and ahead of time book that, you can actually go down in it so um, and see that. We would that. love to do that. And then you're going to go to Delta 9, which is another couple of exits down. And Delta 9 is one of the missile silos. Uh, and so you're able to go out um, and walk out and look down into the glass down to this missile uh, that's down up underground. And, of course, there are lots of neat signs, but there's also an audio yes, tour. An so audio realize tour. that you can, um, as you walk up to the gate, um, there's instructions. There's a phone number you dial, and then you hit different prompts and the ranger yes. will come on the phone and tell you uh, about the different areas of the site and so it was really really neat um I, of course the highlight for our boys was the first time we tilted and looked down that glass at this gigantic missile, missile uh, that's down up underground uh, so it was it was it would definitely be worth your time and it definitely makes that drive yeah. back on it's a good stop a along the way interesting and so then, once you've visited all three of those spots, uh, the exit that you get off to get back into the park is at Wall. And while you're there <laughs> is our next family pro tip. Uh, you got to visit Wall Drug. It's just a fun little quirky, <laughs> probably tourist trap that you just need to I'm say I'm not even going to call it little. It's, <laughs> it's huge. huge. It's it like huge. two city blocks. That's true. That's true. It's very big. Yeah. And uh, But it was fun for the kids. It was something very different. They oh, have an gracious. outdoor area where you can get up on a giant jackalope yep. and you can climb. Uh, climb up on some horses. They have a water feature where the kids could go mm -hmm. out and get kind of um, cooled off a little bit. So you can do that. They also have some good food. They have ice, ice cream. cream. That was super Very good fun. maple donuts. Just yes. Saying. And then you also just have all the different shops that you can look lots in. Lots of Western stuff. Indian artifacts. Yeah. Indian lots of art. books. Um, um, there's some really great West bookstores, um, yeah. bookstores where it just has some local artists, but also just some Western artists. And so it's fun. It's different. Yeah, it's just very. a little bit of a break maybe from the national park mm -hmm. kind of scene so you have those that want to get some ice cream mm -hmm. you want to do something a little fun a little quirky and to just say you've been to wall drug yeah, we had like, no idea what to expect and then when we walked in i was like oh my goodness fun. this is not a drugstore mm -hmm.
finish up at Wall Drug, you go back into the park, um, and maybe you're kind of done driving a little bit, there are a couple of amazing opportunities to hike um, mm -hmm. through this area. Uh, the first one is really easy, so it is accessible to anyone. Everybody. It is called Fossil Loop. Mm -hmm. uh, out in the middle of all these sandstones is actually a huge concentration of fossils. They find all kind of fossils out in this area. And so Fossil Loop, what's really neat about it is it's all boardwalk, mm -hmm. it's all level, mm -hmm. um, it's really short, and so again, anybody can access yes, it, a, a wheelchair, anything. Uh, and then all along uh, the trail, they have all these placards, um, but it's not just kind of pictures and information, they actually have um, raised um, replicas of the fossils. Mm -hmm. um, and so the kids could touch them and look yes. at them and then read about them, and there was pictures of what they would probably look like. And so it was a really, really fun uh, little side trip, um, especially for the kids to be able to see that. But if you're ready to do a little bit more oh, advanced yes. and really get what I'll say immersed in the buttes, then you need to stop and do window and door, uh, which are two hikes that are at the same spot. Um, window is really easy. Yes. I mean, it's probably a um, 40 yard walk out um, and there's basically a big um, cutout, natural cutout uh, in a butte that looks out uh, over a whole so section of them. And lots of places right there for the kids to get out and kind of smaller buttes where they can kind of climb mm. up or get kind of in back in a cave or a little crevice. And so our kids really, even the twins, mm -hmm. everybody enjoyed that yep. area because it was just really a place to get out, run around, mm -hmm get some energy out and so even though it was short it's really accessible for kids to get a little bit of running in and just some simple mm -hmm. um, places to go up that aren't too scary for mom but the highlight for sure oh my goodness for everybody in my family, favorite um, was the door hike yeah uh, and so like I said it's at the exact same spot mm -hmm. and so one little trail goes off to a window and then one little boardwalk goes around to the door which is a, a taller cutout mm -hmm. but at door once you get to that then you actually can walk out and begin Begin to walk out into the buttes like down into them and through some and then back up and over yes so you can kind of choose which level mm -hmm. you want because there is um, a boardwalk that comes out and then it turns left and you can kind of go a little bit further out mm -hmm. but then what if you do enjoy a walk or a hike you really need to keep going kids, and keep it's going. probably how long do you think that one is I mean, it was probably about a mile and a half probably about a mile and a half but it is super wonderful you're gonna love it mm -hmm. because it where the buttes are lo large and tall this is sunken down and literally this floor looks like the surface of what I would imagine the moon would look like. It's harder, so it's not a lot of right. slipping and sliding like some of the other areas that we had been. Mm -hmm. This one was really hard, but it had just different kind of porous looking holes mm -hmm. in it. It was they were down deep where you could kind of climb down and maze through. And our boys would go and they would maze through there and, and then we would see them pop up later on. And Great. it was wonderful. They have little markers yeah, where you the, know that the you're boys, on the, the boys really love watching because I mean obviously like most of the other trails that you hike, there's a trail, or even right. if there's not a trail, there's no, blazes there's on trees mm -hmm. so that you at least kind of know where you're going. <laughs> there's none of that in the like Badlands. The moon. And so they have these poles that are stuck in the ground. Yeah. Here's number one, and then a little bit further up is number two. And so, so we had like a good a time with the kids. It's like, just... okay, where's pole number three? Um, there he is. Oh, All right, let's see who can get there first. This was. I think just an iconic hike mm -hmm. and we have done a lot of hiking we and we will tell you that we love hikes like we loved Cathedral and there are some but this one was unlike anything that just you'll so ever unique. experience. So There's not a tree in sight nope. so make sure as one of our family pro tips please make sure that you bring your sunscreen. sunscreen. Also bring your water maybe mom or dad get a backpack on mm -hmm. because it is hot you are out in the yep. middle of the elements even if it is fall like it was for us it is still yeah. right out in the sun well, and it's all also, the time. Not just that there's no trees, but it's also light colored sandstone. So yes. you're not only getting it from like above, but it's kind of bouncing. Yes, just like the beach. Just kind of like bouncing the back beach. Out. So and, you definitely you know, want to make sure that you're lubed up. What do you think of the Badlands? It is really fun. What do you like the most about it? Climbing all the rocks. You like all these crazy rocks. Does it remind you of anywhere? Moon. You maybe it might be like the moon? Uh -huh. I know. I think so. Cool. All right, keep going. Let's go.
So what do you like about the Badlands? I like to climb the rocks. You like to climb on the rocks? Are they big? They're big. They're so big. All right, you go. Go for it, go run. Hi boys, what y'all think about the door trail? It was awesome. What'd you like about it? Uh, that like it was like a whole big car maze except it was made out of rocks. What'd you say, Joe? It was like a big maze. Cool. Did you find your way through? Mm -hmm. You think we'll find our way back? Mm All right, so you can tell that the hiking in the Badlands is pretty iconic. Pretty it is something that you will probably not experience very many places ever. And so I wanted to share in full disclosure that the Badlands wasn't for everybody in our family. Uh, Virginia was not a fan of the Badlands, and some thought it was okay, because we always kind of talk about it mm -hmm. as we leave, kind of what our thoughts are, what are our favorite things, what are the things we like the least. And I will say it was a mixed bag. Jay and I loved it. It oh, was yeah. probably one of my favorite national parks thus far just because it's so unique yeah. and different than all the other things that we had seen so mm -hmm. far. Um, I loved it. Jay loved it. Some of our kids thought it was okay and some didn't like it at all. Mm. So, you know, that's the great thing about visiting lots of different national parks is you're going to hit something for everybody in your family. And so it might not be for everybody, but you'll not know unless you go. That's right. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did, uh, give us a like. We would really love that. Um, or if you've been there and there's something that we missed at the yes. Badlands that you want to let us know about, make sure that you leave, leave that, that uh, in down comments. in the comments as well. And then of course, we'd always love for you to subscribe and follow all of our RV adventures, uh, whether that's our RV family life updates or our travel vlog, including um, our national park um, family tour guys like this one. Lots of great things to see. And so if you hit that subscribe button, you won't miss any of it. And then of course, if you want to see more uh, of our family tour guides for other national parks, you can click on that playlist right down there. We'll see you next time. Bye guys.